just in time for the holidays. Another phase of new air passenger rights takes effect today. The new rules will impact passengers who are dealing with flight delays and cancellations. Federal regulators say they're hoping that these changes will make flying smoother for passengers, but one advocate says that passengers are now actually going to be shortchanged. Starting now, airlines will have to compensate passengers for delays and cancellations within the airline's control, but not if they result from weather or mechanical issues. Under the new rules, the airlines don't have to pay compensation in the most common cases of flight delays and cancellations. But if they're doing the regular maintenance on the airplanes, then you would think that the mechanical issue, issues should be few and far between, right? I understand that, you know, the weather delays, I understand we can't control that, but I would think if it was uh, like a mechanical issue with the plane, that you should be able to have some course of um, getting either credit for another flight or getting money back. They'll receive compensation of up to $1,000 if they reach their destination late for reasons fully within the airline control and not required for safety reasons, and compensation of up to $2,400 if they're bumped from a flight for reasons fully within the control of the airline. Getting that money could be tough, according to air passenger rights advocate Gabor Lukaj. The rules rely on travelers filing complaints, and it's on them to prove that the delays were not mechanical or weather related evidence which is usually in the hands of the airline. In the European Union, which has the gold standard of passenger protection, airlines do have to pay compensation when a flight is later cancelled because of maintenance issues. And it is the airline that has to prove the existence of extraordinary circumstances that might relieve the airline from paying compensation. New rules also include requiring children to sit beside or near their parents at no extra cost. This is the second phase of passenger right rules. The first ones landed in July and required airlines to compensate and respond to tarmac delays, denied boardings, as well as lost or damaged luggage. A recent CAA poll finds just over half of respondents haven't heard or read anything about new rules aimed at protecting travelers in tough situations. Federal regulators say in light of this poll, they will be focusing on public awareness of this new regime. For City News, I'm Aliha Sheikh.